Welcome to the Thornhill Village Library located at 10 Coburn Street in Thornhill. The house was built in 1851 for Ellen Ramston. It went through a few owners and eventually was purchased by the Library Board and Thornhill Lions Club in 1959 to be converted to a public library. Let's take a look inside. Since it's converted from a small historical building, the library has a quaint feel to it and there have been stories of supernatural sightings by visitors and staff. Some of these stories include hearing voices, books flying off the shelves, items that are on the retrieval list mysteriously sticking out of the shelves, sightings of an old lady and a dog that quickly disappeared, and a burnt smell that lingered. If you would like to read more about these stories, you can find it in Maria da Silva's book called More Ontario Ghost Stories. We're on the main floor and part of the original building. We're currently providing curbside pickup service, which led us to rearrange the layout. Now we have moved to the back of the building and you can see that this is a part that's added on more recently. And now let's head upstairs and take another look. Okay, the second floor is a staff room. It's usually closed to the public. And again, there have been more stories of a supernatural nature. For example, in this room right here, uh, pedestrians have reported seeing an elderly lady sitting by the windows when the library is closed. And this library, in this room in particular, is also the setting of a young adult fiction by Deborah Kerbel called Lure. In it, a murder was committed in this very room, which is related to the ghosts that supposedly live in the library. And there you have it. Thank you for checking out the virtual tour and hopefully we can see you in person someday.